This is Rob Liefeld. Kai Review is going down. Hey guys, we got some great news here coming uh, sh straight from Instagram. Uh, Cyrus William has confirmed that Black Lightning will be in the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover this year. Um, now this thing is getting so big. This is going to be so cool. It was originally reported on We Got This Covered or it was reported on another site. They picked it up and he reposted their article here on, on Instagram and he's pretty much just says, you've asked for it, you've got it. You got it. And this is going to be quite interesting to see as to where things kind of go. I have a feeling we'll have to wait and see as to where, how much of a scream time he has just because there's going to be so much going on. Already we have lists. We have so many, you know, recurring, uh, returning characters. We have Burt Ward as, as his Robin returning. We have Linda Carter as Wonder Woman. We have Tom Welling potentially as Superman. Uh, we have Brandon Routh as Superman. We have Tyler Hecklin as Superman. Uh, you know, with so many different characters going on, we have the Titans from the Titan show uh, going. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the someone from Doom Patrol decides to show up. Um, but we've already had a tease of only two characters from Titan, so we'll have to wait and see as to where things go with that. But all these many characters in there, and plus we have the, the original five shows that are already going to be a part of this. So this is going to be quite interesting to see as to where things go with this. And I guess I'm getting a. I guess started. I'm really excited for this, but I'm getting a slightly worried that there's so much in here. But at the same time, it is a five-hour crossover. And I just hope that we don't just get kind of you know barely running through the Speed Force and just a quick glimpse of them. We actually get to see them in there, so he actually kind of acts with them. So I'm pretty sure that you know at least uh, for him, he'll definitely be in there. He'll be acting in there, probably interacting with the characters. Um, but I know that they're supposed to be using some archival footage of Henry Cavill as Superman and kind of putting that in as kind of, you know, maybe when someone's going through the Speed Force or going through the, in between the multiverse, right? The traveling from Earth to Earth, they start to see, uh, you know, uh, pictures, you start using clips of Super, Henry Cavill Superman, right? I think that could be really cool. You could probably throw in some uh, some stuff from, uh, of, uh, you know, Christopher Reeves as Superman. And heck, I wouldn't even, I don't, like if they can, go even back, get some, some archival clips of uh, George Reeves as Superman, you know? That'd be really cool doing all that too. Um, but I definitely can't wait to see as to where things kind of go, and I'm hoping that all these, you know, re returning actors and stuff, um, having them all actually in one shot, getting a shot, like in like Infinity War, you know, the, the TV side of Infinity War. Hopefully, they can literally take that in the, you know, Avengers Assemble scene from Endgame, just do that on the on the on the small screen with the DC characters and have a shot, you know, have a a wide shot where you have you know, Black Lightning all the way to Burt Ward's Robin type thing, and that could be really cool, seeing all that and seeing Wonder Woman there and all the different characters could be really, really, really interesting seeing all that. So definitely can't wait to see as to where things kind of go with this. Um, I expected him to have a big inter a big connection here. We'll have to wait and see as to how things kind of end. I'd love to see this show, this thing end with Black Lightning and Supergirl. They are obviously Supergirl. We know she's on a different Earth. She's on Earth 38 and Black Lightning. I'm assuming he's going to be on his own Earth since his show has never even acknowledged any of the other stuff going on. Um, so I think you know, they could they would definitely have to make it on another Earth. Um, and then having bringing that over, that could be really quite interesting as if it ended up being permanently all in one Earth afterwards. And then you could have crossovers without having to think about it. You just don't have to worry about explaining the how it happens because every time you have a crossover, you have to make things, you have to make, oh, is there a reason for them to jump Earths, to go from one Earth to the next? And now if you, if this ends with Black Lightning, Supergirl, Flash, all of it in all one Earth, then you don't have to make a big reason, you don't need a big reason for them to cross over, just, they just cross over, you know, type thing. That could be really cool. So I definitely can't wait to see as to where things kind of go with this. And I'm hoping that Black Lightning will end up on the same earth at the end of the crossover as everyone else all in one earth so let me know what you think guys about this in the, in the comments below and uh i'll see you guys in the next video peace out we're here for kyle reviewed on youtube the very best kyle reviewed channel on all the youtube kyle reviewed channels you got that you got that right thank you for watching kyle reviewed deadpool and i thought it was fantastic you need to like you need to subscribe you know how it's done like subscribe right dp all right kyle reviewed Cool channel.